Good morning everyone. My name is Laura Stranks and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Thanks for joining me today. Um, I've got this really fun fold card. It does flop down to a fun fold um, or down to a fold which you can put in a either a 6x6 six six or a I think this one ended up 5x5. Five five. I'll just have a look. It's four and a half, so you'd get it into a five by five envelope. I scaled it down from the original. This is the original one that I did. Um, I've done this one years ago, and I thought I'd do it again. It's very simple. I've simplified a lot of the pieces on it, so it's not too difficult to make. Once you've cut all your pieces, um, it works out nicely. It is called a triple pop-up cube card. Um, there's only a couple of main pieces and then all your little mats to cut out. So um, I'll just mention my um, pages here, my Facebook page, Cards by Laura. There's a lot of um, my cards in there that I do at my workshops and classes and a few others that I've designed over the years. My Facebook group, which has gone AWOL at the moment, it's up to 3,500 members in there. Uh, I keep getting more and more each day. There is a, If you do decide to join that group, I'll just give you a little tip. There are two questions in there. Um, one is why you'd like to join the group and also that you agree to the rules in the group. The rules in the group are fairly simple. They're just um, no hate things, um, be kind and courteous and share your projects and things like that. So they're not difficult questions to ask. If you don't answer the questions, then I'm declining those, but you do get a notification to say you've been de being declined um, because you haven't answered the question. So just make sure you do that before you um, put through your uh, thing to to um, join the group that you ask when you ask to join the group. My YouTube channel that you're watching now, if you're not already subscribed, it's called Creative Gems. And if you want to get in there and subscribe, I'd love to have you on board um, and we shall get started today. That's all the business side out of the road. I'll leave this little one up here. I'll put this bigger one away for a second. I'm going to do the scale down version. I do put my PDFs in uh, my group page, uh, my group Facebook group, Laura's Craft Room Tips and Tutorials. All the PDFs and the measurements and everything are in that in the file section in that group. So um, for this one, both lots of measurements, the, the smaller one and the larger one, will be um, attached together. They're all in one file, so you can choose which one you want to do. And as usual, I've got my measurements typed up for you. So we'll just go through the pieces and what I've used. I've got all this. I'm doing it in totally different colour today. There's a little piece there popped out of one of the pieces. Um, the materials that you will need. I'll just move all that aside. Two pieces of four and a half by nine and a half. Um, just basic cardstock. This is boho blue. Um, and I'll show you how to score that in a minute. And then the DSP inside the cubes at the back. This is the bigger ones inside here. There's four of those and they measure um, two inches by four and a quarter. And I've just chosen a neutral type of pattern. Inside you don't need to see um, a very busy pattern. Just make sure I've got the four and I've chosen this. This paper, um, this pattern is out of the Countryside Inn DSP. That's the back of it. It's got little um, wolves and I think they're wolves on there, something like that. Uh, but I've just chosen the little dots on that side. Um, the inside front cubes, they're all two by two and you'll need uh, eight of those because there's four, four in here on this side and four in on that side. And that's those. I've chosen the same pattern as the others. There's a couple more over there. So that's those. Uh, the mats outside, two by two, 
that's I've chosen white on this one um, because it's a nice contrast with the blues so I've got six of these there'll be one two three four five six so they're all in this um, top section at the front you don't need them underneath down here you don't see them and that one side is glued to the back so they're two by two the mats in the white and then the DSP is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths so I've just left a little border I've already glued all these together and there's six of those and that's out of the same countryside in DSP my hinge arms which are these little pieces and I'll get to those right at the end um, there to hold your greeting at the front and there's two of those they measure two inches by half an inch and I've got two of them we'll work on those at the end my greeting mat I've cut these out of the um, nested essentials dies there's quite a few different shaped dies in that set I've chosen those two and I've already stuck those together um, and the happy birthday is from the pansy patch set on this one the last one I've got hello there on that one but I used the same dies at the front so that's those um, our back mats here if you do a mat like I did here with the color uh, on this one I'm just doing the white um, this one here the back mat it measures four and a half by two inches and you need two of those um, or if you do the white on top like that's the that outside one the white on top there is four and an eighth by one and seven eighths but you don't need those if you do just the white mats so this will come in here four and a quarter by two inches so that's the exact size as the back ones there and I've just um, attached a little strip of DSP and this stamp is out of the timeless charm which I love at the moment I've not long had this one and I love it to bits it's really nice some um, set to use and really nice dies in there too and that's all the pieces you'll need so we'll get started and put all that together um, my scoring here I'll go through that as we go leave that up there you'll need your trimmer or your scorer whatever you choose to use there is one lot of cutting, but there's a little bit of scoring to start. Now, both these base pieces you're going to score at the same uh, measurements. We've got, but I'm going to do them separate, obviously, because it won't score nicely through two lots. And you do need your arm out. Um, two and a quarter, which is there. Move the trimmer out of the road two and a quarter four and a half they're all in equal um, spacings six and three quarters and nine and then you're left with that little half inch tab and that's going to be um, where you're going to attach um, join your two your cube together so we're going to do the second one exactly the same two and a quarter four and a half six and three quarters i'm just double checking as i go because i don't like to score it wrong and make a mistake and have to start again and then nine when I scale this down I use scrap card stock out of just my um, either retired colors or um, a non stampin up card stock that I don't use at home here oh we do need one cut now one of these you're going to cut in half lengthways so on the short side you're going to because this is um, four and a half in width you're going to cut it at two and a quarter which is there and that gives you your two lower cubes that will attach to the front so all the scoring is the same and then just cut one of them in half so I'm going to fold and burnish all those pieces 
So my bones folder. This does fold down flat as I showed you in the beginning. Um, so you can fit it flat in an envelope. I'll let the DSP do the work. Um, if you can decorate the cubes at the front. I would suggest that you lay them flat um, if you put any die cut pieces on. Um, if any of you are watching and you're in my group page, um, my craft room tips and tutorials, and you do decide to do the card, uh, have a go at it, post your um, creations in there so we can all have a look. I love looking at other people's ideas and creations. So a lot of people have started to share what they've been doing. It's, um, it's a lovely group of ladies and it sort of skyrocketed all of a sudden. I did share my the, the link to my um, page or group on another demonstrator page and um, it just went berserk from there. But I'm enjoying looking at everyone's creations. So those, we're not going to glue these together first. I'm going to put... I'm going to use my tear and tape to the, for the joins. Now, on these outside tabs, these half-inch tabs, you're just going to run a strip of tear and tape. You can use um, liquid glue or your stamp and seal, but I do recommend red tape or your tear and tape. If you use your um, liquid glue, you won't put them put the glue on until after you've put all your mats on but I do recommend the tear and tape because it's a lot stronger and for all my boxes I put tear and tape on so I'm just doing these um, outside tabs the little half inch tabs to start with so get those out of the road then they're all ready to go when you assemble your box so that's those now we're going to put this is going to go that way we'll do the little ones first it's going to go like that with that tab underneath so you don't see it so so you when we're doing these inside ones here first because that one it needs the DSP over the top of the tab you're not going to do this one until you've put it together so all I do is um, with a pencil just put across there so you know not to put your DSP on there so it'll be the last one away from the tab end and the same on the bigger one. There's your tab end there and we're doing the inside at the moment. So those three we leave until we assemble the, the, um, the cubes. So I'll do these two little ones first and they go with these smaller ones. We'll do the outside after. All of these and I'm going to use liquid glue for this because you need a little bit of wiggle room to get them straight so that's fine to use your liquid glue even that side's nice but I didn't want busy on the inside as well as the outside I just wanted something more neutral on the inside so just a little bit of glue around the edges and a squiggle at the top I'll use my tweezers to get these straight so I'm missing that end one and these will have a 1 8 inch border all the way around. I could have glued all these to start but I wanted to show you how you do your cutting and scoring so this won't take too long. If you've got a directional paper just make sure you keep an eye on your direction so it's all nice and up the right way. Most of this paper is um, non-directional so it's pretty good. It doesn't matter which way you put it. So all of them will go three in there to start. I'll do this one. Lovely weather here today. I'm going to have lunch today with my daughter-in-law. Um, which will be nice. I don't catch up with her too often. She lives a little bit further away, so we don't get to see them. And my son, her hubby, is away at the moment for a few days, fishing with some mates, so she's on her own. So it's 
good chance to catch up. If you join my group page, um, my group, not my group page, my group, um, you'll see a photo of her in there. She had a birthday the other day and I made her a card. Um, she loved it, so it'll be... Um, It'll be an extra catch up for her birthday. She's from Thailand, so lovely, sweet girl. So that's those smaller ones. And then these bigger ones, those two are for the ends where we've got the crosses on. And we'll do the same with the inside of the larger ones. My messenger is dinging off there, but we'll ignore that for a while. I record my videos only because it's more convenient for me um, to record and upload so but if you do comment I do I will send back a reply to you if you've got any questions or if you just want to comment on what I do that's fine I do check my comments on my channel all the time I've been a demonstrator for over seven years now and I love what I do. I love teaching um, my craft. So I have workshops and classes here from home. I am hosting a retreat in October. Um, I'm not sure who, if anyone lives local. I live in Heritage Park, which is the southern side of Brisbane. It's um, the suburb is actually Logan. Um, but we're part of Logan, so if you're interested in coming to a retreat, I'm only having 12 ladies, so if you're interested, you need to get in quick. Right, now we shall do these. Now, you can fold it like this. I'll just leave my glue handy because we're going to need it again in a minute. Take this DS, the backing off your tear and tape, and all you need to do is fold this flat. The tabs going underneath that way you can get those nice and flat we'll do all three of those and it's just because they're square um, you just need to fold it across it makes it nice and even for you very quick card to do and you could decorate it as much as you like on the outsides. The only difficult piece is getting your greeting to sit right. Now I'm going to slide these ones in. Because you've got that join down there, you want to cover that. So we're going to slot these into those little bits. This is where you... I might just use my tweezers again. Try not to slide and get glue everywhere. If you can see me there, I've just lined it up so it's pretty even with the ones that are in there. And even on the edges. Excuse my head if it's in the road. Liquid glue is a, is a good friend if you're doing something in a difficult spot. This one here will be the same. That's the only part you have to keep an eye on that you assemble before you put that last one in. And just remember, it's the last one on the other side of where the tab is. That one in there. And the last, the long one, which is at the back. And then there is a, a sequence to put these on so you can, it makes it nice and tidy. I'll show you that when we get to it. All nice and good in there. Um, one of the ladies that comes to my workshop, we did this card a few weeks ago and she uses uh, red tape for everything. And I said, oh, if you're going to use red tape, it's going to be difficult if you, once you drop it with red tape, it's there for good. But she got it in first go. She is so used to using red tape that um, it was easy for her. Right, now this is where you need to make sure 
there's my join I want my join at the back if you put it this side you can this top bit here you will see where the join is so put your join to the back and then these pieces which I'm going to mark one of them you'll see in a minute I find my join there's my join there you want the join to the bottom now they sit side on so as you can see on this they're coming out that way like so so the join down here at the bottom where you can't see it and on the inside of your um, card the front and I'm just going to put a cross on that one there because I don't want uh, it doesn't get decorated so that one there will sit like that and this one here that's the join there the join will go to the bottom and to the back so it'll sit like that so you don't want one there the other three we can put them on I'm going to glue these on first so that we get it right because you don't want um, your mats on the bottom section either so once they're on there you'll know exactly where the mats go we're not going to do the top mats now you can lie this and I'll show you how it works so that's going to sit on there you can this is the easiest way to get it nice and straight line it up with the bottom push that down and then just get it all nice and square around those edges just make sure it's in the right spot before you push it down but that will go like that and then this other one just sit it back up just to make sure you're in the right spot that one's going to go there so we're going to put glue on that one slot it on there to start and then close it down and then adjust it to where you need to so long as it's nice and square on the one underneath so they'll both end up like that nice and square on your card and that's your stand up piece so we can go ahead and put now these birds I want to make sure the birds are up the right way so we're not going to do these top sections yet. We're just going to do the small ones at the bottom. So we're going to put one on there. This is after you've put your DSP on your mats. I was nearly, nearly going to put navy, night of navy, around instead of the white. But I did like the... The brightness of the white behind my birds are up the right way that one's on the front so you could put a um, some sort of decoration on the front there nothing too bulky because you want it to fold up nice and flat so let the DSP do the work which is what it's meant for I love stamping up products because they all coordinate together and you don't need much imagination to make a lovely card. Some some of the DSP, all you need is the DSP and a base and, and it's done. So that one there and this one. Birds up the right way, nice and straight. So that's that part. Now we're coming to the next bit. Oh, we can put these on the back. These are my. Um, I've decided to put one up, one down. Doesn't really matter which way you do it. These go on the back section here. So I'll put them on. That's all that done. We'll move those up there. Um, I might change, I might put the DSP at the top, put them straight across and then the leaf at the bottom. I was going to do one up one down but I do change my mind occasionally. Not very often, my hubby always says he'll ask a question and I'll 
give him an answer. And then he'll ask the same question 10 minutes later. And I said, I just told you so. And he said, he'll say, oh, I thought you might have changed your mind. And I said, you know, I don't change my mind. When I've made up my mind, I've made up my mind. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has that problem. <laughs> I think sometimes he's just forgotten what that he's already asked the question. So that's the back of it. That's where you can do your writing. This is the front. And then these two little pieces, this is where this comes in. I've scored them in half. They were um, two inches long, so I've scored them at one inch. You can just free fold them in half like that and give them a little burnish. I like scoring because it gives you a nice clean edge. But if you prefer just to fold it in half, that's fine. Now they're going to go in the top here in the centre and the two folded edges are going to go together like so. So I'm going to put the glue on the back side of this one like that. You can do these one at a time. Fold it in half and just line it up with the score line. Not on the score line, you want it to be able to hinge just just shy of the score line and about centered up and down as well and fairly straight stick that one down and this one exactly the same with the the join the the fold on the inside the glue on the back and all you do is butt it up against that one so you'll have a tiny tiny gap in the center not much where the score line is try and get it straight if it's not perfectly straight it doesn't matter because the greeting is going to go on the top so that's those two then we get our greeting and it will sit on top of that so I'm going to put the glue on the tabs themselves like this there is another place you can put this you can put this down in here but I find it really um, awkward to get in there and do it. Plus, it's only on underneath. The, those two little things are underneath your DSP in there. There's no mat. I find it easier to get it in up here. You could put it in down the bottom. Plus, also, you don't see it as much down there um, when it's opened up. It's more noticeable up here. So just center that up there. So it's that way. If you do a longer greeting, you can put um, make those little hinges a bit longer if you like. They don't have to, just so long as you fold them in half or score them in half. Um, and even the width, you can make them wider as well. It's just a um, it's just a hinge, so it doesn't matter if it's um, you don't see it. I do it the same color as what my mat is on my um, on my greeting, so it sort of blends in with that. And then these two that are left will just pop in underneath. And we're pretty much done. These are easy to get in. I'll get my birdie up the right way. They just slide in under there. And that covers the hinge as well. Just a matter of getting your fingers around into the right spot. Liquid glue is your friend. That down a little bit, just trying to get it straight. Everything lies flat as you go, so it's easy enough to assemble. A few girls in my group have been asking, for, I've shown them the photos of the bigger one on this, and they've been asking, Can I do a, a video for it? so they will now be able to access my video that one goes in there I think it, yep, my birds are up the right way and we are done I'm going to put some embellishments on that um, I'll just get out oh um, I'll just get some out we'll get some of these 2325 in colour dots because I know they're the boho blue in here. 
very pretty I've used lots of these I love the shininess on them we'll just put some I might just put them on the greeting to finish it off a couple of these bigger ones and lie it flat we'll do odd numbers I always like odds Go, uh, go down here and that is it all done move all our equipment out of the road I hope you like that that's the other smaller one and the measurements for the bigger one as I said before will be in the PDF as well um, I've got the um, the larger one at the top and then the smaller measurements at the bottom it's just a matter of um, a couple of inches smaller altogether I do prefer the smaller one this one is um, quite large but if you want something to stand out um, go for the bigger one that is it from me I hope you enjoyed that this is my favorite now <laughs> I always have a favorite thanks for watching and I shall catch you all again next week have a lovely week bye for now